In this video, we'll look at the Lightroom Classic plugin in SmartShooter 5. The plugin allows you to achieve a faster and more stable connection. It's going to allow Nikon, Sony, and Fujifilm cameras to connect to Lightroom Classic. You'll be able to tether directly into Lightroom Classic, and you'll also be able to apply Lightroom Classic presets to the images as they come across. In addition, you'll have access to all the existing smart shooter capability like saving to the card and camera simultaneously, as well as using multiple cameras at the same time. So let's take a look at the plugin installation process. To start, launch smart shooter 5. In the smart shooter 5 menu item, select settings or preferences, or on a Windows computer, select file options. In this window, select the Lightroom tab, and in that Lightroom tab, click on the Install Plugin button. You should immediately receive a confirmation message that the plugin has been installed. You can close this message. Before you leave, make sure that the Enable Lightroom Tethering Connection box is checked and shown green. This means the plugin has been installed and is running properly on the Smart Shooter side. But before we use the plugin, we need to make sure that we do one additional step in Lightroom Classic. So next, launch Lightroom Classic. When the application comes up, go to File, Plugin Manager. In the Plugin Manager window, you'll see a column on the left side. We want to check two things here. First, make sure that Smart Shooter 5 is listed, and below the text there, it says Installed and Running. Then select the Nikon Tether plugin and make sure to select Disable on the right hand side. This will prevent the plugin from interfering with the connection. Once you've done that, you can hit Done and you're ready to use the plugin. When using the plugin, it's essential to be sure that no other software is running. This includes Lightroom Classic, Google Drive, or Dropbox running in the menu bar. No other application should be open. Once you've confirmed that no software is running, launch Smart Shooter 5. Once it's launched, connect the camera and turn the camera on. You should see the camera show up in the active camera area of the camera controls. This means Smart Shooter sees the camera. Once that's done, you can launch Lightroom Classic and you want to start the tethered session in Lightroom Classic. To do so, Go to the File menu and select Tether Capture, Start Tether Capture. In the Tethered Capture Settings window that appears, you'll see a number of options. It's important to note that if you're using File Renaming in Smart Shooter, set the template to File Name here so that Lightroom preserves the Smart Shooter file naming. Any of the other options here are fine. When you're ready, Select OK to start the tethered session. Once you do, you'll see Lightroom Classic's capture bar and you should see the camera appear. You can adjust any settings here or in Smart Shooter 5. When using the plugin, you'll be able to capture images directly in Lightroom Classic and you'll see those images appear in the film strip and in the preview area. You can work exclusively in Lightroom Classic, or if you prefer, you can go back and forth between Smart Shooter 5 and Lightroom Classic. The two will stay synced up and you'll be able to capture images in either application. And remember to explore all the great capability that Smart Shooter 5 brings to tethering in Lightroom Classic, including expanded support for Sony and Fujifilm cameras, Live View for all supported cameras with the ability to add a Live View image overlay, and the ability to save to the camera card and computer simultaneously. And that's it. You're up and running with the Smart Shooter 5 Lightroom Classic plugin. Enjoy.